In this section, we're going to talk about maintaining your work once it's live. First of all, when we create a page on Wikipedia, it's important to remember that we don't own that page or ultimately control the content. So any editor from around the world can go in and continue to edit your page, which is ultimately a good thing because it strengthens your work. Another editor may add an update to your page, a new award, a new publication, a stronger reference, or maybe even an image. And that means that you can do the same to other pages as well. We're all collaborating together to make Wikipedia a better and more equitable place. But sometimes you might see that someone has removed part or even all of your page, which can be pretty disheartening. And if this happens, there has to be a good reason. If a section has been removed, often this can be because it's not adequately referenced. So adding an additional reference or two might resolve this. If a section hasn't been rewritten or paraphrased enough, the content can be removed for potential copyright violations if it's just too similar to the original source. Remember that you can't copy and paste content across from copyright sources. You might also notice that someone's added some categories at the bottom of your page. And this is actually really helpful as it helps to link your page to other relevant or similar pages, making it more discoverable. Sometimes editors will also add an external link section to the bottom, just below the references section. And this is a great way to link to other places where archives are held or oral histories or images that might remain in copyright. Worst case scenario, your page can be flagged for deletion. And often this happens when you've struggled to make the case for notability. To find out why your page has been deleted, head to the contribution section of Wikipedia under the drop down menu. If you scroll down to the bottom and click on articles created, you can see how many pages have been deleted. If you click on these and select the relevant page, you can then see an explanation of why another editor decided to delete the page. And this can help identify what issues you might need to address. Understanding why other editors have made changes to your page can be really useful. So you can go to the History tab and see what changes have been made and why. Every editor also has their own watch list. And this is a list of any changes that are made to pages that you have created or worked on day by day. To access your watch list, you can click on this icon here. You can see every change made listed under recent dates and a summary of what changes were made. And this can help identify if there's been any vandalism or even to see the great work that other editors are doing or have done to help grow the content that you've worked on in the past. So when you create a page, it is automatically added to your watch list. You can also add other pages to your watch list if you want to by clicking here and select how long you wish to monitor these changes. If there are any other major changes to pages you've worked on or any time you're mentioned, you will also see a notification which is an alert or notice that might appear here. And then you can see what's occurred. You can also update your notification preferences so that you can be emailed about certain activities on Wikipedia if you want to, but this is totally optional. When major changes are made to a page you have created or worked on, you can discuss those changes with the other editors on the talk page. Every article has a talk page behind it, as we covered in chapter six, where you can see any discussion about that page. To reply to a comment, you can simply select reply. If you're a new editor, make sure the visual editor is selected. You can add your comment and then select the blue reply button and it will automatically add your username and the date and the time. If there have been changes to a page you've been working on and you want to discuss them, you can create a new discussion by selecting the Add Topic button and then mention that user so that they know that you're wanting to have a conversation with them. You will be notified when they reply. It's important that we engage respectfully with other editors and it's really nice to thank people for the contributions that they've made. So to thank someone, you can go to the History tab and just select Thank next to the edit that they've made. It's really nice to thank others and to be thanked as well. Of course, there's so much more to editing Wikipedia. In fact, we learn something every time we edit. That's part of the joy of it. 
Thanks for watching our Wikipedia tutorial and all the best creating and editing your pages.